on uh, exploring sustainability in Japan. And today I'm so excited to be able to introduce and talk to uh, Clementine, who runs the beautiful handmade upcycling sustainable fashion in Japan, Mikan. And uh, we're going to introduce ourselves. We have a resident translator today, Felix, who's going to be translating for us a little bit into Hello. Japanese. Thanks for helping out. Uh, you want to introduce yourself a little bit, Clementine? Uh, yes, sure. So uh, I'm Clementine. I'm from France. Uh, I live in Japan now for six years. And currently I'm in Miyazaki. Yeah, you've actually lived all over, right? Tokyo? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, so I came to Tokyo first as an exchange student. And then I live one year in Osaka, three in Kyoto. And at the moment, I'm a little bit in between Kyoto and Miyazaki. But now with the uh, situation, I'm staying in Miyazaki. Right, great. It's a good place to stay at home and enjoy the space, right? Yes, have more space than Kyoto for sure. Yeah. And our translator, do you want to jump in there? Should I translate that? Yeah, go ahead and yeah, introduce okay. yourself first. Yeah, uh, my name is, my, I'm Felix, the translator for this live stream. Felix. ハンドメイドとかサステイナブルファッションみかんという会社をやっていてフランスから6年前に東京に留学生としてきてその次に大阪、京都に住み、今宮崎に住んでる人です。Okay, great. And we want to start by showing your beautiful new uh, promotion video that you made for your channel. Do you want to do an introduction? Like, how was it made or where was it made before we watch it? Uh, sure. So very briefly, this was made with a collaboration of two uh, video makers, friends visiting from Brazil at that time, uh, who I met in Kyoto, actually, when I just moved in Kyoto. And uh, the video is highlighting how I get inspired by natural phenomenon that are represented in the kimono, mostly the how the season uh, changes, the color that we use, the motifs that we use. I love that about Japan, all the different seasonal, yeah. seasonal changes. And that's such an important part of the culture, too. Yeah, I think it's inspiring for everyone even when you might not notice it because it's so present in your life everyday life so and i also come from where there is four seasons in a year so that's probably very important for me too i know to uh, my a, life. a lot of people take that for granted the four seasons but i come from hawaii where there's no four seasons so it is it is a beautiful thing connected to culture in japan for sure and you must see it a lot in the fabrics that you use, the representation of the seasons. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, I think it, besides even the most common, like, you know, in spring, you're going to have a lot of flowers like sakura and the momiji are going to turn red in autumn. And, but there's actually a lot of small details of flowers and plants that are used according to the season because kimono is supposed to be worn at, a, at the proper season. And the more, the more I use them, the more I learn, of course. And I don't know if one day I'm going to know everything because there's a lot to learn. But, yeah. <laughs> well, wonderful. Uh, do you want to translate that before we watch the, the video, yeah. Felix? Promotion video of Mr. Maini, Clementine san wa kono video setsume shita no desu ga, kono video wa futari no video creator ga kolabo shite tsukurareta mono de, Clementine san ga kimono o tsukatte. こういった帽子とかあの、カバンとかを作る時にあの、着物の中では日本の季節が表現されていて、それは文化として気づかなくてもみんなをインスパイアしている部分があると言っています。そしてその中でも着物の中でその季節に合った着物を着るのが普通な
とても細かい表現があるからそれを知りきれるかっていうのも言っていましたはい OK let's, let's watch it and then we'll come back and chat more with Clementine sure <咳> Okay, that was so beautiful. Do you want to comment on the video at all? I love that you, not only as a designer, but you appear in your video as a model as well. <laughs> that's fantastic. Ah,、uh, thanks. Yeah. Well, that's not necessarily something I'm always comfortable with, but.、Um... I always need to ask people to pose or organize proper shooting with proper models. So if I don't have, I tend to use myself as a model. But it's just more because it's useful than because I, I like doing it.、So. No, no, I understand、yeah. that. I, I wasn't, when I started this、um, company, and of course I'm interviewing people and I have to put myself out there, and that's, that's not something I was always comfortable with as well. And I, I think as a designer or you know, artist, you're often behind the scenes. So it's, it's so nice to see you on the screen and everything. You look beautiful. This is a stunning, stunning video. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's also what we do. So, in the end,、uh, mostly if we have a business that we are the main character, because I'm basically working by myself in this brand. So. Maybe it gives people an image of who is behind the product.、So. Yeah. No, no, that's great. And then I think people trust the brand more too, right? When they can see Maybe, the,、yeah. the design. The human, human behind it. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. yeah. Felix, do you want to translate that? PEP in its way, Joy san, a video no naka de mo, Clementine san ga tojo shail koto ni. とてもいいじゃないかって言っててでそれはクレメンタインさんはちょっと恥ずかしいけど、まあ、モデルがいない時により、まあ、やりやすいからっていうかやらないといけないからやっていてでデザイナーとして表面に出ることは結構少ないってジョイさんが言っててでもビジネスの中ではクレメンタインさんは主人公でありその誰が商品を作っているかの裏側まであの消費者に見せれるからいいんじゃないかっていう話でした。Okay, thank you. How did that sound, Clementine? How's your Japanese? <laughs> yeah, I can understand everything you say, but I wouldn't be able to say it as well as you do. So, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I'm doing my best. No, you're doing a great、It's、job.、Great. Thank you. Um, so, you have, we have some photos of your work and workshops that you've done. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the photos?、Uh, yes, I can comment them as,、uh, as you、okay. put them if you want. Let's see, let's see. So, you've done one of the things that I love about your brand. You're very sustainable because you're recycling and upcycling and reusing the material, the old. Obi and the kimono material and reusing it in new ways, which is more suitable to our modern lives. So, of course, that's one key aspect 
of your sustainable brand. Um, how did you start using OB to create bags? Can you tell us a little bit how you got started? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yeah, sure. Thank you for uh, mentioning that I should have started with using the kimono. It's so obvious that I, I forgot to say it, but yeah. Um, I studied um, clothing design, uh, fashion design. So when I learned this, I learned how to create patterns and shapes. And so this knowledge fr comes from garments for me. Um, and uh, basically how I create them is more um, researching the shapes. And sometimes it comes, sometimes I end up with something great, sometimes I don't. So through the research, I like experimenting in 3D and uh, also according to the fabrics that I find. So I, I basically start by researching the, the material that I want to recycle. And since I live in Japan, obviously, I want to recycle Japanese materials also because they are so beautiful. I can't believe that they stay in people's closets and get uh, eaten by moths. And <laughs> so, but I understand it's hard to put a kimono on and learn and, and have the occasion to wear it. So I want to put them back into something that people can enjoy in their daily life. Yeah, no, that's, that's a fantastic tribute, isn't it? It's a tribute to the beautiful design. By reusing it, you're showing respect and appreciation for it. I, I think it's a, it's a great way to show the heritage and tradition of Japan in a more useful, modern way, in a new way. But it's, I don't think it's at all disrespectful. I think the style that you're using the material is very respectable and keeping the very high quality. So I appreciate that. Is it? Yeah. I really hope not to be disrespectful, yeah, in what I do. Because I've heard, when I just moved to Japan, I've heard, oh, maybe you shouldn't cut into a kimono. Japanese people won't like it. Um, but my focus is really to make something functional as well. Um, because I think if you can use it, then you will use it. If it's just beautiful, it, it's so much work put into one piece for the person who has been woven it and painted it. And so I think it's very sad to, to be uh, thrown away and it's silk. So it's not, it's not cheap material at all. It's something that really has a, a high value. So. Yeah. So yeah, I really hope I'm not hurting anyone's sensibility in, in my process. But I don't think I, so. I, I think it's fantastic. Felix, you want to translate some of that? Clementine-san, mm. uh, is it your like main thing is to make bags and hats out of kimonos? Yes, yes, yes. The, right now, yes, because I stopped okay. making clothing. Okay. 今、着物の生地について、その 帽子とか、カバンの形に着物の生地を
なりそうです。OK! Great! Thank、okay. you! All right, so I, I will bring up some of the pictures. Let's see if this works. 写真を見ていきましょう。And let's see. So this is、um, from your online classes that you were thinking about starting,、mm -hmm. but it's, it's been a little bit hard to start. Can you explain? Um, what you were wanting to do, and then why it's become a little difficult?、Um, yeah, so this visual in particular, I posted it last week because it was the uh, uh, Fashion Revolution Week.、Um, so, everyone,、uh, the brands are showing the workers behind their brands, and、um, uh, so I, I wanted to share this at that time because. Uh, for me, right now, I was trying to,、um, to switch to、um, a concept where instead of selling my product, the people will follow a class with me and do the product they want to make. And、uh, I've done it in real life, so I've done it in Kyoto a lot, and I traveled often to Australia to do it as well. Oh, wonderful!、Um, So, and just before the lockdown, I, I came back from a trip to Australia where I was able to do this. And when I came back, of course,、um, everything had to stop. All the plans had to stop because, with social distancing, it's、uh, impossible to imagine classes going on.、Yeah. So, I was thinking of doing it online、uh, by releasing、uh, sewing kits where people would have the instructions with them. And because I feel like everyone is suddenly learning a lot of Uh, a lot of things about how to use online platforms such as Zoom, or、uh, we are able to do something like this online too. So I want to give it a try and, and do it online.、Um, but another problem came up, which is、uh, we are not able to travel. So whatever we want to ship is very slow as well.、Mm -hmm. Yeah.、Uh, I didn't think it would be that slow. So to send anything abroad, For these online classes, is also a bit difficult now. So, I'm trying to imagine ways that people could really recycle what they have in their house without having to bring any new material in the process. Yeah. Yeah. So, we've, of course, all of us have had to change our lives so much because of the coronavirus and the lockdown and the staying at home,、um, especially for people like you that were doing workshops and face to face kind of interaction. And training.、Um, your shop is online, so that's, that's no problem, but doing the workshops is a big adjustment. So, your original idea was to send the, the fabric kits and walk people through it with an online course. That's a wonderful idea, but even then, you had some postage problems because of the coronavirus. So, It's really a challenge, isn't it, to have a business during this time? Even if your shop is online, there's still other things that make it a little bit difficult, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think I'm not the one that can complain most because, in my case,、uh, I can imagine something online. Uh, but yeah, I feel like every time I came with a new idea, something else、uh, uh, stepped in front of it. and... Mm. Made it more difficult, so it's a, it's a bit challenging, but it's also exciting in a way. Yeah. Because、uh, if you can imagine something without sending anything,、uh, that also means you can work in a completely,、um, how can I say, without having any ecological impact. Right, yeah. So, which is a good challenge as well.、So. Mm hmm. Do you want to try translating that, Felix? <laughs> yeah. We're not making it easy.、Sorry. <laughs> OK, OK. とこの今見せている写真はファッションレボリューションウィークの時の写真で「You made your bag」っていうあの実際にその場であの商品を売るよりもワークショップをしてその場で一緒に再き生地を再利用して帽子とかカバンを作るワークショップをやっていてでも今の状況ではそれが難しいからオンラインでやろうって思って裁縫キットを作ってそれを
あの海外の人たちだったりこのワークショップをやりたい人に送りそれを一緒にオンラインのズームだったりそのスカイプみたいなものを使ってやろうとしていたけどその発想がどんどん遅くなってて難しくなっているからその本当にそのワークショップに参加している人が家に持っているものだけでできるその環境に一番インパクトが少ない方法でやるチャレンジにもなっててでもクレメンタインさんは新しいアイデアが出てきたらなんかなぜか前に立ちはだかるものが出てきていてそちょっともどかしいことはあるけどいいチャレンジだと言っています。Okay, thank you.、Uh, Clementine, 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 which, which is it? As you want. Really? Yeah, as you want. <laughs> yeah in French, it's Clementine.、Uh, Clementine. It's very beautiful. Yeah. I think in America, <laughs> we, have, we have the name Clementine, Clementine, but Clementine, definitely, yeah, yeah,、sure. definitely Clementine. Yeah. <laughs> like Clementine. I like that. Um, the next photo here,、uh, you've done a lot of collaborations. Is this the staff that you were working with in Australia doing the bag making workshop? Can you see it?、Uh, no, I cannot see it.、Yet. Oh, you can't see it yet. It should be coming There, soon. There's a little、so、delay. Little, little, little. Oh, yes. Oh, thanks for showing this picture. Um, yeah, that's Rachel,、uh, who I met in Melbourne, and she works for、um, a company called Second Stitch.、Um, they teach、uh, people who have a difficult background to sew, to provide them a, a sewing diploma so they're able to find a job in Melbourne. So、uh, most of them are from refugees' background. Um, and yes, she's teaching there. She's also a weaver, so she does a lot of、um, a course to teach people how to weave. And,、uh, and we, met, we met just once when I traveled to Melbourne, and, and she helped me prepare a、um, workshop. For, that's the last one I did uh, last uh, March, just before I came back to Japan before the explosion of the coronavirus.、Mm -hmm. Um, I literally came back when Australia was getting bad. So I came back the, the same day. And if we had planned this the weekend after, as we thought before, it would have been cancelled. So I feel very grateful、mm. I could host it with these people who really welcomed me very with open arms. And I could do my project as part of the,、um, how is it called?、Uh, um, Virgin Fashion Festival. Mm hmm. Which is held once a, week,、uh, once a year in,、uh, in Melbourne. Nice.、Um, yeah. So when I do this, I try to find collaborators that I like what they do. And、uh, of course, these places, they have the material to host a workshop, they have the sewing machines and everything. But I want to bring also something to the projects that I want to support.、Um, yeah, great. Felix, do you want to have a go?、Mm. ジョイさんはクレメンタインという名前はめっちゃいい名前だねって言ってその後にこの今表示されてる写真はクレメンタインとレイチェル今メルボルンに住んでるセカンドスティッチというあのサービスを行っている人でこのセカンドスティッチというのはあの裁縫の資格がもらえてでその。What is refugees in Japanese? Refugee in Katakana Janai? Refugee. No. It's immigration, but immigration. Ah, Ibinsha. Ah. So, the Kara, Kono, Kiko, Jibutno Jokyo, Ga, Muzukashi, Sono, Ibin Tachi, Toka, Sono, Kuni, De, Hataraki, Nikui, Jokyo, Nyar, Hitotachi, O, Support, Ste, その裁縫をできる資格が取得できるのでその裁縫の資格を使って働きに行けるというサービスをやっています。Yeah, that sounds like, sorry, go ahead. That sounds like a wonderful, 
wonderful organization. Sorry, continue. <笑> I thought you were done. でメルボルンに行った時にこのコロナの直前に最後のワークショップをしたんですけどであのクレメンタインさんはこのワークショップができてとても良かったと言っています。うん、で自分のサポートしたいあのサービスをやっているところだったりあのいいことをしているところには自分の,あのなんていう自分の要素も伝えていきたい入れていきたいという思いがあるそうです。Okay, wonderful. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's try the next photo. So, this maybe also in Australia, this is a bag workshop that you did. Yeah, I'm gonna see it in a bit, I guess. Okay. Oh, oh, can you see it? Yes, yeah, that's the, that's the workshop we were having there. So we had a few sessions over the weekend with participants that registered、um, in the workshop, in my event. And on the other side, I also provided classes for their students. Okay.、Um, to give them something in return. So I, I made the same class for their. Their students on the weekdays, and I was uh, um, able to host my, my event on the weekend. So, a lot of, lot of bags were done on this, this weekend, I think around 70. So, it was like the toughest,、wow. uh, <laughs> toughest workshop I've done. You did 70 bags? Yes. Oh my goodness.、Uh, I, did, I didn't. Yeah.、Um, people did. Everyone made one. But yeah. So, the, you said this was over a weekend. So, how long each day? Did you do the session?、Uh, we had three days and it was half day every day because、mm-hmm. uh, the, they have their course in the morning and I was using the space in the afternoon. I see. So people would join、uh, in the afternoon. Yeah, on wonderful. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. And you, you created 70 bags over three days. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I basically created one, which is quite. <laughs> But you were, you were teaching, you were instructing everyone, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, but the beautiful thing is they were really all different. So they were、uh, different bags、mm-hmm. because everyone made them different with different fabrics and chose to do something differently. And, which is also something I like.、Uh, if I do something, I know what I like, I know what my taste is, and what I'm going to choose in the design. If someone else does, it's very refreshing because they might come up with an idea that I wouldn't have thought of. Right. So I really like this interaction,、um, which is why I really want to find a way to make the workshops even with social distancing. Yeah. yeah. Here's, here's another photo from the workshop, I think. So you bring all of the material from Japan for these、yeah. workshops? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a quite heavy suitcase when I go <laughs> and it's empty when I come back.、Uh, yeah, yeah, that's still the same, same workshop, another group of people. Wonderful. Felix, you want to have a go? Where did you do the workshop for with the students?、Uh, in Melbourne. In Melbourne, okay. Yeah.、Uh, this、Australia. is at Second Stitch, so, which is still the same place that、ah, we introduced the, place. the woman before. Yeah. Okay, so they're university students, right?、Uh, no,、Or? they are、uh, they are people that、um, they're not, you no, know, I don't know how, what, which status it has, but、mm. they will leave with a diploma, sewing diploma. Ah, and, so.、Uh, ah, okay, okay. You have all k i n d of ages,、uh, all k i n d of backgrounds,、uh-huh. and basically they. They are people who need to have a specific skill to use、mm. in, their, in their job. So it's the students of Second Stitch?、Uh, yes, maybe not on this visual. This visual was the people that signed in for my course.、Okay. So they are people who were interested in, in doing something over the weekend、mm. and、nice. joined. Yeah. Okay. Kono ima shabetta goto no Nihon go yak wo suru to. Uh, 先ほどのワークショップはワークショップもメルボルンでやったそのセカンドスティッチの生徒たちとのワークショップをして
3日間で70個もカバンを作ったんですけどその3日間金土日全部半日でやって全部違うカバンが出来上がったのでとても自分ができるよう自分にはできないデザインが他の人は生み出すのでとてもリフレッシュ新鮮な感じでやっていましたそして日本でもこういうワークショップをやっていてい行く前はそのスーツケースをその生,地に生地でいっぱいにしていくけど帰ってくるときは空っぽみたいな感じでやっています。Okay, great. And just to let you know, we have had Flo Gently. Flo has joined from Periscope and she says hi. And we also have Claire in Japan who joined on YouTube and she says, I would love to do a workshop someday. Looks great. So just wanted to let you know we do have some people commenting. I'm not sure why we can't get it on the screen, but. People are watching and interested. So, thank you so much.、Um, let's bring up the next photo. Can you see that? Maybe it takes a little while. So, this is also in Australia or one of your other workshops. You have so much beautiful kimono material in front of you. Uh, okay, that's the students from Second Stitch that I was teaching to.、Um, okay. So these are the students that I made the class for free、um, mm. um, because I was using their space. So in return, I was teaching for their, for their students on the week.、Then、there the, were some students、yeah. and some teachers as well who joined us. So, okay,、yeah. fantastic. And it looks like you have a variety of colors and Fabrics and styles that you chose. How do you get your materials?、Um, I find them mostly in flea markets.、Uh, I have sometimes、uh, received them from donations. So on this table, you might see a lot of them、uh, green.、Mm -hmm. Um, this is coming from someone I met through Instagram who actually,、uh, her dad had,、uh, was an obi maker.、Uh -huh. And he was making this style of obi for summer. So the fabric is a little bit transparent. Okay.、Uh, actually, this is also one of them. Beautiful. They're beautiful. And、uh, so her dad passed away and、uh, she didn't know what to do with the fabrics. And she asked a friend we have in common, Do you know anyone that can create from them? Because I don't want to throw them away. So I received them.、Uh, I had quite a few boxes of these beautiful treasures.、So. Yeah, fantastic. I'm always surprised and so happy to find treasures at flea markets. When you go to a flea market and they have these beautiful obis or kimonos for sale for like a thousand yen or a couple thousand yen, it's so cheap. So I can't sew. So I'm so happy that someone with your sense of design and ability to sew is creating something beautiful from these fabrics that are beautiful and just in closets somewhere. Like you said, you know, you're putting good、yeah. use to them. Or maybe they might have a stain or something, but when I use them, I can cut this.、So. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. Felix, you want to translate、mm -hmm. anything? Yep. Yeah. This photo is also a second stitch. It was a free workshop. This workshop was a second stitch. It was a free workshop. It was a free workshop. そのお返しに無料でワークショップをしててで大体どうやって素材をゲットするかっていうとそのフリーマーケットだったりあのついこの前インスタで連絡してくれた人がいてお父さんが帯を作っていてでお父さんが亡くなってその帯めちゃくちゃ綺麗な帯をどうすればいいかなって考えて。あのクレメンタインさんに連絡してきたこと連絡が来たこともありましたで汚れててもそのところを切り抜けるので
全然もういいどんどん使っていきたいという気持ちがあります。And、uh, Flo,、okay. Flo just wrote a comment now saying such a beautiful way to bring these fabrics into people's lives. That's wonderful. Thank you for commenting, yeah, Flo. Yeah. Thank you. So nice when yeah, people was... can interact with us while we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, sorry, that just makes me think about、uh, th- this woman that I mentioned that reached me to offer me the OB. I think it、mm. makes me feel very. Good because I can feel she's also happy that they're going to be put in use. Yeah, for sure. So we were talking about respect before, and I think this is really,、uh, I feel very grateful when something like this happens. Yeah, definitely.、So. How many hundreds of thousands of yen is it to buy it new, right? And then pe- if people don't use it, it must make them really sad if nobody can use it. So, I would imagine it makes them very happy you're using it and creating something new and beautiful. Mostly when, because I think they're transmitted from generation to generation, also,、mm-hmm. usually in Japanese families. So, when it comes from your grandmother or your mother, or, I think it's hard to、uh, throw away something, even if you're not wearing it.、So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do you want to translate a little bit of that, Felix? Ah, so it's Clementine, s o m e あの帯の話をくれた人で思い出したんですけどその帯を送ってくれた彼女もあのその帯が使われてくれて嬉しいしそれもあの文化を守っていく文化をリスペクトする面でとても大事だと思っててで大体帯とか着物とかは日本では世代から世代に受け渡されるものだから。別に着なくてもとても捨てれないものであるからこうやって再利用されることはとても彼女にとっても嬉しいしクレメンタインさんにとってもそれが作品やあの商品になるからとてもいいことが行われてます。Okay.、Um, can you see the next photo? Is that also in Australia? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's,、uh, that's from the same workshop. So these are the bags we were, we were making. They are bomb bags. I don't know how、mm. you would call it.、Uh, yeah, it's a, it's、uh, a weird term in America. Waste, waste pack. I like waste pack better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, no. Yeah. Bum, shoulder bag. Shoulder <laughs> bag. Yeah, recently a lot of people wear it. Like a shoulder messenger bag. bag, shoulder bag. Yeah, yeah. like a crossbody bag.、Mm-hmm. You don't necessarily wait,、uh, wear it on your waist, but it's still from the, from the waist bag pattern. Yeah,、too. no, no.、Yes. And a beautiful pink material. Is that kimono material or obi material? Yeah, that's the obi. So this one is、uh, woven with、uh, silver thread、mm-hmm. and pink silk thread. So it's,、uh, the, it's really、uh, in details. So, there are very tiny geometrical patterns on it,、uh-huh. uh, which you cannot see on the picture, but it gives it a very nice、uh, touch as well. No, gorgeous.、Mm-hmm. And then、uh, this is the photo, maybe in Australia, that you posted, and she's posing with a different kind of bag. I think you were thinking of starting to teach how to make this kind of bag. It's a little bit more complex than the waist pack, maybe?、Uh, backpack. Mm hmm. Yes,、yeah, so that's,、um, that's part of a project I was about to go and do in summer in Australia, where it would have been winter there.、Um, and because I'm not、uh, able to travel, I'm trying to put it online. Trying. I'm、mm-hmm. putting it online because I, I could reach the, the people and ask them if they were interested, and some of them are. So we will、mm-hmm. try to make this online. Great.、Uh, this is, yeah, this is much more complex. So it's more about pattern making and building the construction.、Mm-hmm. So it will be over a week, like five days,、uh, five days work.、Mm-hmm. That looks like a beautiful, very modern, functional design. I love the, the water bottle carrier and the backpack. It looks really comfortable. Uh, yeah, so you can see. I,、uh, I don't know if you're able to see on the picture really, but it's the、um, when I created the, the shape, I created it by folding the obi. So in these、oh, okay. folds, I could hide like pockets.、Mm-hmm. Or, and on the other side, you're able to put a yoga mat. 
oh. in mm. if you want and the bag uh you can change the change the design you can flip it to the other side that's fantastic and she's such a beautiful model that's just one of your yes. customers is it <laughs> yes customer friend that i met in tokyo and that was uh in melbourne when i when i went there which is now based in singapore and which i'm giving sometimes online uh, private teaching so oh great yeah you have so many wonderful collaborations felix you want to explain about the bag a little bit yeah まず最初に見せたピンクのショルダーバッグはオビを使ってて銀とピンクの糸が使われててとても美しいものですでそれもワークショップで作ったものでで次今映っているそれがコロナでなくなってしまったけどあのバックパックはとても難しくて形がコンプレックス複雑なのでそのパターンや形も作らないといけないから5日間くらいでできる長めのワークショップをやろうと考えていてでこの黄色いバックパックはリュックこの
uh, designers based in Australia. Okay. Uh, so I don't think you're required to be in Australia necessarily, but it doesn't attract someone from abroad, mm -hmm. uh, strangely, because it was very easy for me to be welcome there. So um, yeah, maybe there will be more people joining from abroad. What, what's they the put festival? Me in touch. What's the name of the festival? Uh, it's called, uh, it was called, I don't know if it's going to remain like this, the Vil Virgin, because it was Virgin Australia. Okay. Virgin uh, Melbourne Fashion Festival. Oh, okay. But it might not be Virgin anymore, I don't know. Uh, things are complicated for uh, flying companies right now. So no kidding, yeah. Happen. I wonder if they can do an online festival. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. Cool. This is that a new future, nice. right? Sorry, Felix. It's very. Um, yeah. It's it's. You can compare it to a fashion week, but the difference is it's really connecting local brands with people. So there's no in between. You don't go to a showroom or something. You go to the event. You, you can meet the designer. There is a fashion show, but it's very accessible. You can shop directly from the runway and. Uh, I think it's a very new way of, of considering uh, fashion weeks in general for me. Yeah. It, it's nothing to do with other fashion weeks that I, I saw. It's much more uh, intimate. Uh huh. And I'm sure it makes a uh, good impact on the on local businesses as well to yeah. connect people with their, their buyers. So. That's wonderful. You can buy directly from the cat wash, you said? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Or you have a lot of events around it like like i'm doing i'm joining for, joining for a workshop but you can right. do anything that is art related or, yeah. that's great felix you mm. want to have a go at some of that yeah <laughs> okay so kondama so the yeah ima hyoji sarete ru shashin wa ano custom order de tsukutta mono de kono hito wa hajimete 2018年にメルボルンに行ってコラボした人でこのめこの人はあのソーシャルスタジオっていう バージンメルボルンファッションフェスを通して あの、Okay. okay, thank you. So I've put your three collaborator pictures here. Um, you have a collaborator in Japan who helps you make some hats. Is that right? Uh, yes. So that's Mr. Ikegami, which is based in Katsura near Kyoto, which I met in 2016, I think, or 17. And he's helping me with the hat productions because uh, I can design hats, but I cannot make them that great. So he's he's doing the, mm -hmm. the production. He has a, a small business, runs a small business as well. Um, this is also a picture we made for the Fashion Revolution Week of last year or the week before. Okay. And he made the hat that Felix is wearing right now. Ooh. Yay! From OB. <laughs> yeah. That actually, it's my daughter's hat, but Felix is wearing it because he's helping today. Um, but it was her favorite present of Christmas, of all the Christmas presents. And I loved oh, how so when we ordered it from Etsy, everything went really smoothly, came really fast. And I love that you sent the packaging without any plastic. It came in a box with paper. I was so happy 
Thank you so much yeah. for not using plastic. Yeah, thank you for <laughs> noticing. This is sometimes a struggle here to avoid using plastic because the easiest way is to use plastic. There's plastic everywhere. So I guess everyone who's watching today is from Japan, but if you're not, uh, Japan is a plastic country. So yeah. Yeah. It's really hard to avoid plastic everywhere, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that was that was a really nice treat. Thank but yeah, you. <laughs> it's beautiful. So it's it's wonderful that you're doing so many collaborations, not only in Australia when you go there for the festival or working with organizations, but also in Japan you're collaborating with the hat maker. Any other collaborators in Japan? Uh, yeah. Well, actually, because I work by myself, every time I have a project going on, it's with someone. So I wasn't able to send you so much pictures because I had a, a big data loss recently. No, don't um, worry. Yeah, so, that happens. Um, <laughs> there is a temple in Kyoto, a family temple called Horenji, which uh, yeah. where, uh, hosted my workshop last year and was supposed to host them again this year, uh, which was a very... A uh, very important part of uh, my project in, in Kyoto. So mm -hmm. um, I felt also very welcome there in, in a temple, which I would have never imagined uh, me coming from a French background, going mm -hmm. in, in Japan and being able to host workshops in such special places. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm so. showing your uh, website right now. Mm -hmm. And on the DIY section, you have your uh, sewing kits, you have your five-day residential program. Of course, in Australia, you can't do that right now. And you're upcycling in a temple. So that's the kimono workshop that you were doing yeah. at Horenji Temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, ha you yeah, had need... to cancel, unfortunately, right? Sorry? You had to cancel that. That was supposed to be now. In April. Yes, and most people uh, coming for these workshops are visitors. So because there is no visitors now, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I must uh, update this because no, a few no, projects have been cancelled. <laughs> every everything's happening so quickly and all these problems and hurdles, right? But the one thing you can still do now is the sewing kits and patterns. Mm -hmm. You can still send that to people, and it has directions. Is that right? Uh, yes, yes, yes. So they come, actually, I have a, a book. They come with a little book explaining everything. Um, and the fabrics you choose. So you can uh, you can choose which fabric you like to use. Uh, you can also have only the explanations. If you already have fabrics at home and download them um, directly from, from the Etsy store, which means you don't have to wait for uh, postage. Because now I still I still have orders, so I still send them. It's just they're very slow, and the situation is changing every day. Right. Mm -hmm. So we are never sure when it arrives. And so uh, we, outside of Japan, within Japan, it's still fine. So. We just have to ask people to be patient. That hopefully it will arrive. It just takes longer, right? But yeah. with within Japan should be fine. The delivery system within Japan is no problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's no problem. Sometimes I find it a bit slower than usual because I think they're a bit overwhelmed with uh, the situation, but I think it's still still very good. Good. Felix, do you want to try? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So no. Ima shashin, ma shashin ni misheita sanin no Clementine san to collabo shiru hito ga itte. De. Oh, did we do the... Did I talk about the hat? No, right? The hat collaborator? Ah, uh, no. Yeah, no. No, you didn't. Okay. Yeah. Uh, で, 日本では池上さんという京都に住んでいる Katsuraっていうところに住んでる あの, 2016年、2017年くらいにあった帽子を作るのを手伝ってくれる人がいて今この着ている
嬉しくてでそれを気づいてくれる人が結構少なくてクレメンタインクレメンタインさんは嬉し,嬉しがっていましたそして日本ではやっぱりプラスチックを使うのがとっても難しいんですよ他の国の国と比べると絶対日本の方がいっぱいプラスチック使っててでそれをできるだけ最小限にクレメンタインさんは抑えていますでオーストラリアだけでなく日本,と日本国内の中でもコラボをしているのってジョイさんが聞いてそれでだいたい一人でクレメンタインさんは働くからだいたい誰かとコラボしてものを作るのが多くてで意外だったのが京都でハレンハレンハレンジというホーレンジホーレンジそうホーダホーレンジで家族が営んでいるワークショップをやったり結構そういう寺でワークショップやるとは思ってなくて特別なところでワークショップができてとっても良かったと言っていますそして今この状況ではワークショップを面と向かってはできないけれども裁縫キットは送れますでその裁縫キットの中には説明書とそのせものを作るための素材が入っていてで素材がもう家にあって使えるものがある,んだあるのならば説明書だけあのショップからダウンロードできることができるので発送を待たなくても大丈夫で今この状況では発送に時間がちょっと日本国内だったら少し遅くなるかもしれないけど割と普通に送ることができるけど海外とかではあの送りにくい状況になっています。OK。Good job! <笑> Oh, it's so hard. I'm so grateful to have bilingual yeah, kids that can help out. <laughs> Speaking of bilingual kid, he is in high school now. Now, you came to Tokyo to study at a fashion college. Is that right?、Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, why did you originally come out to Japan? What was your inspiration? Uh, so, I never, I think as many people, as many foreigners living in Japan, I never thought I would live in Japan. I was supposed to come one year for an exchange,、uh, as an exchange student. So, I studied fashion design in a French school called Esmod, and they have a school in, they have a branch in Tokyo.、Uh, and they invited a few graduated students to, to launch a postgraduate program. So we were joining, we were three to join this, this course in 2014.、Um, so I came in spring, started the year there, and the course was、uh, supposed to help us launching our brand、uh, and make your concept deeper. So think about how you would,、uh, you would use your concept. Um, on the、uh, business side, because my, my, the first thing I studied was more、uh, design oriented. So the business side was a little bit out of it. There was a little bit, but not as much as it, you need to, to start a brand.、Um, and for me, yeah, upcycling was、uh, in my. DNA, I want to say, for a long time. <laughs> But it's、yeah. true because I think I realized afterwards that my, in my family, I've always seen people reusing and rebuilding. And so I think I wanted to do the same in fashion.、Um, Wonderful. And coming to Japan and having so much to be able to recycle, like talking about all this beautiful kimono that I would find on flea markets, I was very surprised to find these on the, on the flea markets. Um, yeah, it just made sense that this is the next thing I want to I recycle. Because I was used to recycle something that is not wearable and it looks very bad back in France. Like very cheap clothing that would have、oh. holes in them or、mm -hmm. okay. like old knits, or this is why I would re reconstruct them, which was more challenging in a way. 
uh, kimono is less challenging because they already look so great. Right. So, yeah. 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 One interesting thing I've seen with extreme upcycling, I guess you could call it, is in Kamikatsu, the zero waste town in Tokushima. They're trying to mm -hmm. be zero waste, right? So they're one of the hardest working towns in all of Japan. And they're taking destroyed clothing and material and completely breaking it down to the fibers and then rebuilding it into new clothing material, into new textiles. But they also take the koi nobori, the flying carp streams, and make bags or make jackets and stuff. So what you were doing in France, you said, was also extreme upcycling, right? Taking destroyed yeah. materials. How, how long ago did you start doing that? Uh, since I started studying fashion, even before, because before I studied fashion, I wanted to study politics. Okay. So I went to, I started completely in another field and I had to study out of my hometown. So I was renting a flat with roommates and I started to... Um, to prepare in the sewing room with one of my roommates and my other roommate would ask me my first orders so she would ask me to make her dresses and and I would just pick clothes from yeah uh, secondhand shops and mix them together recycle them together wow. uh, and I, yeah so that's how I thought I think I want to do this not as a hobby but for real for uh, for a living Wow, that's so interesting. Do you want to have a go at that, Felix? Just a minute. <laughs> so, so your upcycling kind of motivation started a long time ago, even before uh, you studied design, or? Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I don't know if I was aware of it when it started because it was the challenge of reusing has always been a source of uh, creativity for me. Because if you do only with what you have. You need to be creative. Yeah. But you're uh, so I creative. Really... Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you I think when you when you create, you you fix uh, boundaries. For me, if the boundary is you use only what you have, it makes it difficult in a way, but also uh, it narrows your path. So you have to be creative to do something from it, I guess. Wonderful. And I, I have to say for you, as well as Felix, I appreciate you guys being so bilingual. You're speaking in your second language. Felix is translating into, I guess he's a dual language, but I, I'm speaking only English. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. It's You're wonderful. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Okay, so クレメンタインさんはまずなんで日本に来たとかというと東京でファッションタンダイに留学しに来て そのエスマンというファッション学校フランスにあるファッション学校と東京での連携したところ短大での 1年間留学しに来ました。で、その、そのコースはビジネスよりもファッションの方をフランスにいた時も、なんか家で何か再利用できるもの、何か形変えて使えないかなって
作っていたけど日本では使う素材が多いからそのしかも着物とか帯はもう美しいから割と簡単にアップサイクリング再利用できるっていうのがとてもいい日本の長所であるであのジョイさんは上勝の上勝っていう町のお礼にあげたんですけどその上勝ではゼロウェイストタウンもうゴミを出さないっていうスタンスで頑張っている、ま、小さな町があるんですけどそこでは古着とかも使えなくなった服を完全にファイバーまで壊してでまたそれを再利用しようというスタンスとかこいのぼりを使った行き過ぎたではないけど結構過激な再利用をしているところがあるとちょっとメンションしてましたで実はクレメンタインさんはファッションを勉強する前に政治を勉強しててで家からじゃないわあのフランスで勉強していた時にルームメイトによく何か作ってよドレスとか作ってよって頼まれてでそれで古着屋に行って素材買って作ってあげたみたいなことをやっていたらもうそれを仕事として自分のやりたいことを見つけたっていう瞬間でそのファッションを学びたいという気持ちになってでアップサイクリングとか再利用がとてもいいのはその自分が使えるものがあの制限されるので余計もうそのあるもので何をするという考え方によって自分がどんどんクリエイティブになっていくからいいツールでもあるとクレメンタインさんは言っています。Good job. Thank you. And we had a comment from Claire in Japan. She said she just ordered something. Off the Etsy store, keen to make a drawstring bag during self isolation. Yeah, thank you, Claire. I, I was seeing it coming when, when Felix was talking. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, that's great. And talking about、um, upcycling, I found a beautiful、uh, quotation or a phrase on your website, I think it was, or somewhere. Um, each Mikan piece is a time travel experience, restoring old Japanese treasures in our daily life. I love that. Did you、uh, write you. Did you write that? It's、yeah. so poetic and beautiful. Yeah, no, I, I think I wrote that. I, I think in French、uh, it sounds differently, and sometimes when I put it in English, in English I don't know if it sounds well.、So、it's it's happy, beautiful. I'm happy it sounds good. Yeah. Can you say it in French? How do you say it in French? I want to hear it. Chaque pièce est un voyage dans le temps qui restaure les traditions du passé dans notre vie quotidienne. That's beautiful. And in Japanese, Felix? Well, I, I forgot. <laughs> okay, I, I will try again in English. Each、yeah. Mikan, so Mikan is the name of her store.、Uh, please、okay. tell us why your store is called Mikan first. I don't think we did that yet. Oh,、no. yeah, of course. Yeah, Mikan, because Clementine,、uh, the meaning of Clementine is a Mikan, a small orange.、Mm. And I found it difficult to tell people my name in Japan. So, and I realized every Japanese person has a meaning behind their name. So, I,、uh, my kanji was Mikan, and people would call me Mikan. This was easy.、Yeah. So beautiful. Okay, so that's the story for her company name. Now, this quotation each Mikan piece is a time travel experience, restoring old Japanese treasures in our daily life. Okay, think about that. You can think about it for a minute. <laughs> so, I, but that's, that's the perfect expression of upcycling for me. And what I was saying at the beginning about showing tribute, showing respect for the tradition, for the fabric, for the, the heritage of Japanese kimono material. It's such a beautiful part of your business idea, which I appreciate so much. Thank you. 
for all the hard work that you do to okay, celebrate. I'll try. Yeah, I'll go try. ahead. Go for it. <laughs> 一つ一つのみかんが作り出す商品はあの時を超えた違う時を超えたじゃないうん時を遡ったものが作られあの日本の文化的宝を再利用違うリストーリング修復していきましょう Something like that. Sounds good to me. How does it sound to you, Clementine? I, I'm, I'm not going to say.、Uh, thank you. <laughs> we, we trust you. You're the Japanese expert. Yes, yeah, we I trust、try. you. <laughs> I try. So, of all the themes of your business the upcycling, the reusing, the heritage, the traditional, You're also supporting community because you're keeping Japanese tradition and culture alive. So that's part of social equity. So, so many themes for sustainability.、Um, any final comments? Anything you'd like to say at the end? Oh, well, I didn't think about this. <laughs> <laughs>、um, I think we're, we're going to try to create a class for people in Japan that can maybe、yeah. do. A sewing class with you online? Yeah, because I,、um, I think、uh, if you have some obi or kimono that are sleeping in your closet or your boats because you find them beautiful and you don't know what to do with them,、uh, we can host a little class online pretty soon.、Um, maybe we'll, we'll see, I guess, how、uh, following the interests、uh, we will receive. Yeah. I think the, the visuals that we were showing during the talk on the Melbourne、uh, workshop that I did recently, the, the waste bag or the drawstring bag,、uh, these are already、uh, ready to be used. So, and if you have something at home that you would like to use, I can just prepare the kits with the zippers and the specific materials to send, and we could do this online on a half day, I guess. Okay. So, you think you could teach a half day course online if people have their own materials? And if anybody is interested, they should get in touch through the website or Facebook page, which is the easiest. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I was talking about this problem.、Oh, okay.、Um, so, you would still、mm. need the other parts that I could, that I could send you? Um, yeah, the best would be maybe to, to contact me、uh, through my website. There is, all my, sorry, there is all my contact details or Instagram or,、okay. or even if you comment on, on this video. Okay, yeah, yeah. great.、Um, so you have some materials that you would want to send. What do people need to be able to do the course? They need a sewing machine at home, you think? Yes,、yeah, sewing machine for sure.、Um, That's it basically, sewing machine and the internet connection. Yeah,、um, great. So if, and, you're,、uh, if you're interested,、mm-hmm. you can get in touch.、Um, Clementine is on Facebook and Instagram a lot. And I'm so impressed every time that you get back to everybody so quickly. So I'm, I'm sure that's a good way to contact with you. And, yeah,、um, I'm trying to. Sometimes I might get, might get slower, so don't no, take it you, personally. No, you are very good at getting back to people. I've been very impressed.、Um, Felix, can you explain the course we're going to try? Yeah. So, what are you going to make? Like anything in specific?、It's、yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about this waste bag because I、okay. think it.、Um, It's some,、uh, this is very different from what、uh, OB is basically,、mm-hmm. so it's a good way of, of、uh, recycling it. And it's unisex. So, even though you saw on the video, most of my clients are women on the workshop,、mm-hmm. I sometimes have men joining and it makes me very happy too. So, if you want to give it a try as a man, you're most、uh, welcome. Of course,、yeah. it's fashionable for men and women for sure.、Um, we have、okay. a, new, a new comment from Claire. She says, I'm very keen. On an online class. I've only recently just started to learn to sew. So that's wonderful. We already have interest. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, and actually, yeah, so this is, I forgot to mention, but it's quite easy to sew. 
So when I design the shape, I try to make the process as easy as possible for beginners. So if, if you're not feeling comfortable sewing, um, that's okay, because I'm going to be here to explain. So don't worry. Okay, good. Felix, you want to explain yeah. a little bit? この、オンラインで裁縫のクラスをや,やろうとクレメンタインさんは思っていてで、家に眠っている帯や着物がある人やそのフリーマーケットとかで帯や着物を見つけて使いたいけどどうやって使えばいいかわからないっていう人たちはこのワークショップをやってあの、一緒に物を作ろうっていうスタンスです。でその家にミシンとあの、e、w i f i インターネットのコネクションがあれば参加できてでそれでもう男女問わずこのワークショップではあのウエストバッグだから男女問わず使えるものでほとんど女性の人が多いのですがその男性の人も参加するの大好評です。であのヌーノに自信がなくてもそのミシンの使い方だったりどうやって縫えばいいのかはクレメンタインさんがそばに寄り添ってあの教えてくれるのでもう全然始めたてでも躊躇なく連絡してくださいでそれで興味がある人はあのクレメンタインさんのみかんの,あのオンラインウェブサイトとかインスタグラムなのでメッセージを送ってもらえれば参加できます。That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we have a, another comment.、Uh, Flo gently、yes. says me too. So we have two people online who are interested. That's fantastic. <coughs> and Great, if,、yeah. if people don't have material and they're in Japan, could you send the starter or the sewing kit? Within Japan, you think, if people are interested? Oh, yes, 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 for sure. In this case,、um, just reach me and, and I can send you some available textiles and you can pick from the textiles and I will send them. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much for talking with us and it was a great conversation. And yeah, I, it was really nice. Yeah, fantastic. And I look forward to、um, learning more about your online class. Maybe we can talk again after you do your course and we can talk about how it went. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that with pleasure. Yeah. And, and thank, thank you, you, Felix, for、yeah. your help with Japanese today. No problem. Thank you so much, Felix, for all the、Happy、wonderful、help. translation. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in and we'll catch up again soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Sayonara.